copying the Marvel model. In little more than a decade, the MCU became a multi-billion dollar franchise and many other companies tried to copy their approach to filmmaking. Marvel slowly built up their universe, introducing new characters in each film until all their major heroes were ready to team up for 2012's Avengers. But other studios tried to rush this process. Instead of taking 10 films like Marvel, some tried to do it in one, and they were often not very successful. The Amazing Spider-Man. Sony have held the cinematic rights to the Spider-Man universe since the 1990s and had a popular series of films directed by Sam Raimi between 2002 and 2007. They tried to remake the franchise in 2012 with The Amazing Spider-Man. Many people liked the lead actors of Andrew Garfield and Emma Stone as Peter Parker and Gwen Stacy. But when the second film was released in 2014, it already seemed a little too confusing. There were rumours of Sony trying to launch a spin-off series called Sinister Six, which would focus on villains. But audiences lost interest in this Spider-Man universe, and Sony dropped the franchise. Andrew Garfield was replaced with Tom Holland as the superhero, and Sony then worked with Marvel Studios to include Spider-Man into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The Universal Monsters The Universal have long tried to resurrect their Universal Monster Universe. The Mummy, starring Brendan Fraser and Rachel Wise, was fun and hugely profitable and had two successful sequels but they have had far less success in recent years. Dracula Untold was a dark retelling of the story of Dracula. And although the film ended with a cliffhanger, the franchise did not continue. An even bigger disappointment for Universal was The Mummy, starring Tom Cruise, Russell Crowe and Sophia Botella. It was a big budget action adventure that was so unpopular they cancelled other films they had already planned, such as a remake of Bride of Frankenstein, which was rumoured to be starring Angelina Jolie. DC Comics Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy, starring Christian Bale as Batman, was a critical and commercial success. But DC struggled to enjoy the same consistent success since then. Man of Steel was similar in tone to Nolan's Batman's film in that it was dark and gritty. But it divided audiences. Some loved it, others hated it. Snyder was also in charge of Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice which introduced new characters like Batman and Wonder Woman. Snyder was also going to direct a Justice League film that would set the tone for the DC Universe. Due to personal problems, Joss Whedon ended up working on the film, and it was a mixture of gloomy and fun, which confused some audience members. DC have recently enjoyed success with films like Wonder Woman, Aquaman and Joker, but they do not have a universe that is as organised and connected as the MCU.